Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord yes. that you grant us that atmosphere. Amen. I pray that the aura of the presence of the Holy Spirit yes. will engulf every heart. Amen. And we bring every mind, every spirit Amen. to the obedience of Christ. I declare every heart open. Yes, Lord. And we arrest every soul Amen. to the eternal word of the living one. Yes. Let your will be done Amen. and breathe into the souls of your people. Yes. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a song that goes kunim, kunim, kunim. kunim kunim, kunim, kunim. With the Otan Foneso. He has conquered the enemy. I want you to keep that song in mind. As I try by the help of the Spirit of God. To bring what the Lord has given me to you. I'm preaching on the blood of Jesus. A weapon of victory over Satan and demons. The blood of Jesus. A weapon of victory over Satan and demons. I remember some two or three or four years back. We had traveled somewhere and we were with some pastors and elders, members, all of us, I mean, together. And we went at that part, we had gone for sightseeing. And they took us to a very, very high place. No, I mean, a very tall building. So, so that we get access to what they call the, is it the sky pulley? I mean, it's just like the light, the heavy light poles, the pylons. And then you have that sky vehicle hanged on it and then you can, they now can you push you across. But before getting on, we just venture to look down. And when we looked down, one pastor shook, I mean, he took a hold of another pastor's waist. And tried pushing him a bit. Then the pastor said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Then the pastor, the, the one who, t- who t- killed him, he said, Why are you afraid? Then he said, Master, you are Jesus with you, and you so fear before the whole hall. No, see, this, we are praying and we are joking, but the demons in our homes are still alive. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The African thinks about Satan and demons many times. Africa And rightly so, because Satan is there. And there are demons. And they are demons. And my key text will be from Revelation chapter 12, verse 1 to 17. And then Colossians chapter 2, verse 10, and then maybe 14 and 15. If you really get a picture that the Lord is painting in this text, maybe half of our sermon is, is done. But I want us to give, I mean, a rapt attention to this as we read the scripture. There are just about three or four things that the Lord is telling us in these 17 verses. But, but the story goes this way. He brings it and then he goes to recast it and then he goes. So three times the same thing is retreated. And so let's look at it in the NIV. And the great sign appeared in the heaven. A woman clothed with a sun, with a moon under his feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. Let's go. And she was pregnant. And she cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign. So let me do it this way. When you go, you can read the whole flow. But, but this issue about the woman and then... The son of, okay, you let me follow the flow. But we'll come back to the first story of the woman. Again. But then there's a second sign that appears in the heaven. And there was an enormous red dragon with seven heads. And ten horns. And ten horns. And then also, he talks about uh, with seven crowns on no, the tails. Let's move on, please. 
What followed the Bible said is that this dragon had a tall, so it still swept the third of the stars out of the sky. And it flung them to, to, to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth. So that it might devour her. Devour her child the moment she was born. Then she gave birth to her son. A male child. Who according to prophecy. Who rule all the nations with an iron scepter. So, there are two paradigms. The paradigm of a woman, the Bible says that she had the sun wrapped around her. And her feet was on the moon. It only means that a woman that had received divine glory is talking about Mary. Having received favor. Okay, and having been chosen as the one to give birth to the Christ who will rule the nations. That is on the one side. On the other side is the Bible calls it a, a dragon. A very hideous, fearsome creature. And I said, oh, oh. Satan, when you are come, you come so complex. Satan, and, and if you want to cut Satan at work, this is one of the shortcuts. He rings all the toes at once. And it's like hell is blown loose and everything. I mean, the center is moved. If the old semper, we see him that way here also. He appears in that fearsome appearance. And the Bible says that he brings down with his tail a third of the stars in heaven. Those stars, when the Bible talks about the stars of heaven, it's talking about the angels. And so he brings down one third of the angels in heaven. With him to the earth. But the Bible says that as the woman is about giving birth, this old serpent stands in front of the woman. And wants to devour the child as soon as it's born. That is what we see so far. But the Bible says that the child was born. And he was snapped up to God. And to his throne. And the woman also fled into the wilderness. A place prepared by God for her. Where she might be taken care of for three and a half years. Now, the story recast. Verse 7. Verse 7. Verse 7. And there was war in heaven. And Michael and his angels first, I mean, they fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. Yes, let's go. But he was not strong enough. And they lost their place in heaven. Oh, I thought you would say hallelujah. Amen. He was not strong enough. Somebody say he was not strong enough. The great dragon was held down. Then there is a hyphen. An interpretation of what had been said earlier. He said, I'm talking about that ancient serpent called the devil, also called Satan. And I'm talking about the one who leads the whole world. Satan is a global being. He aims at possessing the nations. He was held onto the earth. Now, free to And his angels with him. Let's move on quickly. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. 
The other verse is an office Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers who accuses them before our God day and night have been held down. Let me, let me go for a comma. You know what? Satan says so many things about us to God. And he says so many things about God to us. So you see him before God saying plenty things. If they show you a record, you will be surprised. Jesus is not a man who is a friend, my friend, my friend. Oh, hallelujah. Please, please, please. Satan. I want you to see him that way, reverse it to him. Where he also says a lot of things about God to us. Alright, let's move on quickly. They overcame him. No, no, go to the previous verse again. I want to read it again and join it to this. Quickly, please. And then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now, from this time, now, have come. The salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ for the accuser of our brothers who accuses them before our God day and night has been held down. Let's go. They overcame him. They overcame him by the blood of the lamp and by the blood, uh, sorry, by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's move on, please. Therefore rejoice. You heavens. And you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth. Please look at the west very well. But woe to the earth. And the sea. Because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury. Because he knows that. His time is short. The devil was not strong enough. And is bound with time. Let's move on please. When the dragon saw that he had been held to the earth, he pursued the woman. The story recast. He pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. Let's go. The woman was given two wings of, great, of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the desert. Another retreat where she would be taken care of for a time times and half a time out of the serpent's reach. Let's move on, please. Then from his mouth, now, uh, the, the serpent spewed water like a river. From, from this time, going, from from this time, time, from this time going, the dragon figure is gone. Now we are relating with the serpent mouth. To, to, to overtake the woman and, and sweep her away with a torrent. But the head held the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon has spilled out of his mouth. And then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to make war against the rest of her offspring. Along dash. I'm talking about those who obey God's commandments and hold to the testimony of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I may be coming to this story, I want us to know that the Bible teaches about the existence of somebody called Satan. Satan is not a phantom. It's not just an idea. It's not a concept. Satan He is a being with personality. The Bible assigns many actions to him. And he exists. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28. 13 or 11 downwards. The Bible says that Satan was created. Bible Satan was a created being. It means that there was a time that Satan was not there. And if there was a time that Satan wasn't there, then he can't be compared with God in any way. So Satan is a created being. 
And Apostle Nyamicha, our dear chairman, has said, uh, chairman has said that now, the chairman, devil is not the opposite of God. When God is absent, there is none. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the creature can never be compared to the creature. God created him before humans were created, oh, according to the Bible. And all the angels were created before human beings were created. The nature of the devil is that he's a spirit. And I need your attention very much here. He's a bodiless spirit. And he assumes a body of any kind to serve a function. It looks to me that that is a, a grace available for the angels. Angels can come among us as men wear our tie. And the devil being an angel has that ability also. And so based on a purpose, he may assume a form. And uh, listen, when you enjoy a five-star hotel and compare it to a two-star two hotel, human beings are the devil's five-star hotel. And then stones and trees, they are his two-star hotel. The stones, they can't move to go and carry out the function for you. They can't speak for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I talking to some people in the house of God? And so everybody available. But if the opportunity comes and it gets a human being, it's a good day for the devil. In our own Bible, we read right in the face of Jesus. When the devil seemed to have taken hold of Peter, and the figure was Peter all right. But who was speaking was the devil. And Jesus rebuked him. Yeah, we see it. And so in the Bible, there are about two or three main texts that point to the devil. One of them is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1 to I think verse 14 or so. Isaiah 14, especially from 5 to 20. And then another is Ezekiel chapter 28. From 11 to 19, you can just put it down. In these two texts, the immediate human being there, yeah, but Isaiah 1 is the king of Babylon. The king of Babylon was behaving in a way that was above the ordinary. And so when God was sending a word from the prophet in Judah to him, it began with talking to a human being. But when he moved on, divine attention switched. And, and it was, was like Adani. God was dealing with a spirit. And God began to talk about so many things. And it is agreed on largely among theologians that this is a prophecy about the devil. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you get time, you can also read the book of Ezekiel chapter 28. But if you get time to look at this text I spoke about, it talks about the creation of the devil. It talks about the fact that God created him God took time to create him. And he was a special being now with no. a unique creation order. No. God created him with the best of, I mean, precious stones. He gave him a lot of wisdom. It will make you know that there are levels in the creation of God. Like we have worms and we have trees and we have animals and we have human beings in that order. Among angels to their levels. So we have the ground floor members. And then we have the levels coming up. Some of them are called princes. Others are called great princes. And then other levels and other levels and other levels. It looks like how closer you are to God. And other things like that. Now, the point is that the devil had the privilege he was among the angels that served closest to God. Being a cherubim and a chief cherubim. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about being a cherubim. And a chief 
person in the Caribbean order. His work was defense in heaven. And being the head of cherubim or a great person or a high hierarchy in that order, his particular function was around the throne of God. They were there to guard the glory of God to get the throne of God and, 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 and to be there. This brought him close to power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope I still have you. I'll move on to a new paradigm very soon. But I just spoke to you about somebody that the Bible says is exist. And I spoke about how special he is. In creation. And by his function. And about all things. In fact, the Bible itself said it's beautiful. And the kind of thing the Bible talks about in bringing him, I mean creating him. It's incomparable. And so it went this way. And went Lucifer. Ah, Lucifer. Really flashed through the streets. He looks so different. And by wisdom, he's better than many angels. And being closer to God. I mean, if somebody, if you, by the grace of God, know somebody who sweeps at the Flagstaff house. You think about it too. Whatever you do at the Flagstaff, the point is that you work there. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This dawn, when I was trying to summarize what I was doing, and me, me, can you, me, you know, something funny came to mind. And they ask Lucifer, where are you working? Yeah, be sorry, Lucifer. Say, here now, Oh, my wife plays the throne room. I deal mean, with the man himself. Uh, that is his place of work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible also talks about many, millions of angels. Bible says, many millions of angels. Also talks about many millions of angels. Bible also talks about many millions of angels. Everybody assigned to their work. Everybody with a degree of power. Some of them have authority over jurisdictions. Some of them are in, in charge of God's projects. And different, different functions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in this system, when the devil was in that helm of authority, and in that, in that special place, the Bible said that something that is not pleasant happened. Bible said, I have dragged you a bit and I'm moving to the points now. And if you are a young person, listen to me. People have questioned about so why, where did sin come from? And so many things gone. That's not what we are trying to deal and with today. But there is sin committed. Ah, yeah, yeah. Or there is sin that is punishable. When uh, a sensible being has understood what is at stake and has expressed his will and made a choice and carried it out, in that case, they are guilty. And ready for. Uh, about five days ago, there's a case in the United States right now. Somebody, somebody. somebody yeah, he's been accused of, uh, I mean, shooting, I mean, mass murder, and this is about shooting the number of people yes, at once. And when they brought a guy, and as you watch him on scene, now, very, very, noble, noble, noble. very fat, he doesn't look too strong. On, on said, the who he could he have done it? Then come to me, yes, but so. they just said that no, see. this is a willful act Are of a sane human being. He had the choice to express his will. And he chose to do it. Knowing fully the consequences. And once it's established so, he's guilty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says that because of the beauty and the wisdom and all the things that the devil had, when he looked among the angels, maybe he thought that I am better than all of them. But when he looked this way, maybe he said that, well, the thing that I do not, I do not, the only thing that I know that I don't really, really have. I don't, is I don't it. And if you go home and you read Isaiah 14 well, on the devil's sheet, 
I'm in his judgment seat. Well, judgment seat. seat. You will see what is called the five I wills. The devil, I mean, on, on that sheet, you see the five I wills, wait, time will not allow me to look at. He said, I will ascend to the heavens. Wanting to rise himself beyond where God was placed. The second I will, I will raise my throne above the stars. The stars are the angels. I will go beyond all the angels. And I will sit and throne on the assembly. Now, listen. Listen very well. Because God is the creator of all things, both good and bad, all things in the world, both good and bad, answer to him. And so, sometimes God sits at the top of the assembly. One day the Bible said that Job came to the, I mean, he came to God and accused I mean, the devil came to God and accused Job. And people have been wondering, why should the devil be able to go to God? Because God is the overall, the, or is that like the chief? The unrobber has access to the chief. Praise the Lord. And so God brings all things into account. And in the last day, we will see God and his Christ a lot in that function. But what the devil said is that, I will go to the place where all things are accountable to me. That month of assembly. And I will ascend, the, the fourth one is that I will ascend above the clouds. Wanting to get himself a higher glory and fearsomeness. And the final I will is that I will make myself like the almighty. And I stood very well. This is pride. And so the day it began with pride. And then when he continued to brood it on, the Bible says that Bible say, there was an element of conceit. So Apostle Paul told Timothy that make sure you don't bring somebody who is a new person into church leadership. They will become conceited. And after all the pride, they will not want to pride themselves about what they don't even have. That is conceit. Portraying yourself beyond who you are. It means that he began to carry himself about like the Almighty when he was not. Then the Bible also says that by that he began a trade. A trade of talking to other angels. Charlie, your position can be better than this. You know, know. You you qualify as a regional minister. Spoke with other ones. No, I to deal with many of the authorities. Now, and princes that are assigned places both in the world and in the business of God. By this trade. And it's sad to me, the Bible said the devil corrupted himself. Despite his original. It goes on to mobilizing people. And then finally into rebellion. Then it go to Choboy. Come on, rise up. Hey. All those on my side. And what we just read said that. The devil succeeded right there in heaven. Getting one third of the angels above. Onto his side and his fold. Some of those ones are principalities. I mean, before I go, there are princes and people with authority in the church. I mean, angels. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when the rebellion went on, now I come into. A very celebrated part of what the Lord has given me. When the commotion was going on, I wanted to see with the eye the Spirit of God gives me what was God's reaction. And about Jesus. 
What does the scripture say? Then the Bible can. As for God, we don't even hear about him that he has issue brought to him. God is not in move to deal with the devil. And the New Testament said about Jesus. The Bible can't I remember in Luke chapter 10. When Jesus sent them out in twos to preach. And they came. And they said. The Lord where we went. Even demons. Bought to us. And they thought it was celebration in us. In the kingdom that is not celebration. celebration. That is why a church dedicated to deliverance ministry. Without preaching the gospel and moving on. Maybe at the back pocket of the devil. Because that is past already. Am I talking to the sons of God in this place? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And so the Bible said that. Bible say. Jesus said, do not rejoice that demons bow to you. Yes, Jesus. Rather flip it to the other side. Your, Your name is written in heaven. That is God to think about. There are better things to concentrate on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And do you know what Jesus added? Well, I saw someday Michael and his angel dealing with the devil. And I saw them held him down. What was Jesus saying? I wasn't even involved in the battle. It was too low for me. We don't deal with those ones. We have angels who will deal with us. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And so, we read about John, the beloved of Jesus Christ, among the apostles, arguably so, well, uh, a young guy, a youth. Uh, Jesus' own plan is that yes, yes, this young guy, uh, I want him to see more. And if you are you listening to me, listen. As for us young people, we uh, must see more. Uh, see we baby. must dream big. Uh, to me, uh, we must do things. Uh, see to me, uh, and Apostle here from my father said that nah, Papa the way the chairman and the leaders in the church they are pushing things and the, the way a chairman I, 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 and, 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 and they are succeeding is a lot of pressure on we the young people. Now what you know, they are doing and, 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 everything. And, 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 but listen. We must do better. In every society, the coming generation must do better than the, the present. Jesus chose the younger generation. Said, you know what? All I need is that your love is intact. And so I decide to keep you. Peter and Cole, they will die and go. And as for you, there's another, another agenda. Hallelujah. And so he lives on. And as the time went on, the Bible said by divine order. Bible seven, he was seven, arrested seven, 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 seven. and then put on pile I mean the island called and Patmos. What, what Patmos so. And then Jesus appeared to him. Yes, Jesus, but in China, well, John, you didn't understand now, John, and yes, yeah. but there is something. John, I want you to know that all this while my father really wants to get his children educated. But they don't, they don't allow. They don't give the eye to detail. Maybe it is also clear in the Bible that no, the Bible devil is, is against we getting to know and no, educated. I have chosen you no, my, my power. to make the story known to you. Sir, my, my, when, when, I, I want you to understand what God is doing in the divine order. And then I want you to write it down for my the believers. Can I have an amen on that one? Amen. It reminds me of Daniel chapter 9. Chapter 10, 11, and 12, Daniel, which you can take time to look at. When God also found a lover in Daniel. Oh, beloved Daniel. These revelations are given you so that you know what God will do from now to the end. And from 9 to chapter 12 of Daniel, God reveals everything that will come all the way Crossing our time to the end of the age. God really wants to give more. But will he find his beloved? Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. And so to this John that we talk about, when he was selected by God, Jesus gave him the revelations, making him know what has happened even before human beings were created. What is going on now? And what will go on to the end of the age? What is it that God is doing? Where do we find ourselves? Why is it that, I mean, when Mickey was ministering, I was so happy. Mickey, oh, 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 Daniel, he said, you know, it makes no sense that the church of the world will sit down and be churched. By what doesn't make sense, let alone to say it's not true. Praise the Lord. Because it is in God's plan. Now, the picture was revealed to now, John. And as I speed up from here, you will see the text we read. Uh, I mean, some of the details that are given. But when the revelation started with John, you will see that the whole of the book of Revelation, chapter 1 to chapter 11, that is the summary of everything. You can go and really check it very well. And then from chapter 12, you see, now that you, you understand the executive summary, let me begin to pick them chapter by chapter and let me let you understand really well. And so, you can look at it again, especially from where we did the worship, chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter seven and then all the way to chapter 11. There, there is business meeting in heaven. The relation begins with what is really important, the climax. The Lord God Almighty is in his throne. The setup is there. And then the Bible says that. The Bible say, at the right, I mean, in the right hand of the Almighty, there is, I mean, a, a scroll what, what the, uh, with seven seals. And the other that who is able to come and open yeah, it. Nobody qualifies. The only one who qualifies. Other one, I mean, one of the elders pointed out. And the say, lamp of God that was slain. Yes, sir. Oh, in other words, something should have gone on and you should have qualified. Immediately he said that. The Bible said that the Lamb of God that looked like he was slain immediately appears. The 24 elders and the living creatures they begin to burst into song. Thanking God. And then from there if you read very well, we can kind of the angels join. Nah, about four and join then in. from there, nah, the no. Bible says all creation nah, say, about the angel, nah. also join. And so what had you. gone on already and did not only did benefit, did benefit heaven, it, be it benefited the angels nah, and, uh, and to four. all of us, nah, my angel, even nah, the unrobber. Nah, just, even unrobber Hallelujah. 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 That is why whether they know Jesus or not, Jesus or no, God has an interest in their lives oh, because oh, well, Jesus came to die well, for them too. Praise the Lord. Then the Bible said that Bible say, Jesus came and lifted it yes, so brother, so and mama, began so. to open the scrolls. Now, the things, so I know, I know. When he opened the first one, now, of, of thing, a time of, and a season, uh, uh, when it looks like God was pouring his anger on the world, I said, be he be so. you open another one, now, of, so famine, of, so. another one, earthquakes, another one, this, this. another one, this, it goes on. Then he goes to pick the seventh one. Now, of course, of course, when he opens the last one, oh, be it, be it, the Bible one, says Bible seven say. trumpets are sounded. What, what, but, to the on song. With different other things going on. And in the this so. dawn, I was saying, God, were you killing all of us? Now, Mr. Now, be cool, you know, now. It's a way to the end of the story. Oh, see, China, me, me, some nonsense. Then even in the seventh trumpet, seven tumblings. And also, so, and man, so, see, but yeah. at the end of it all, the <laughs> The Bible said that the seven trumpet in the seven seal Bible are, say, are coming well. To to I the to seven to trumpet to to that was to sounded after the opening of the seven seal. Will be a, a boy, will be when the be a, so time was to really to set, to an, an angel, angel of God appeared and announced, hallelujah. He said, it is done. They will yeah. no longer be delayed. For now, now has come the power in the kingdom of our Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Immediately after this, 
you will see that that season is cut off. Another season of receiving rewards comes and then you see that we are restored. And the problem of evil and the problem of the devil is dealt with. Then there is a new life of of rejoicing with God forever. Hallelujah. This is up to the end of chapter 11. But you know what? In the chapter 12, as he picks, he said, now that you understand the whole thing, and you know that, it is really for our good, the I love of God, dealing with sin, and, and bringing this back to him. Let me show you some of the details. Then he began to show how the devil was the one who was the one who was the one who was the one then he began to show how the devil, now, if you the church, you some, having been created of God, and as no, I've already told you, and, and how he was basking in the glory now, with his ambition, ambition now, he, he sought to, to bring commotion in heaven. Now, and how Michael and his angels, and said, Michael, they, they dealt with him what did they, what, what, what and then brought him under control. Now, what they, what share, no, and how he comes to unleash his anger. On the, I mean, uh, I mean, on the, on the, on the, I mean, about the, the coming of Jesus into the world to save us and to die for us. And then all about the aggression about killing baby Jesus. So that the divine plan of the love of God being slain will not come to pass. So that nobody will qualify to open the seals. And so that we will be in our sins forever with a condemnation of God. The devil wanted to cut in. But it didn't work. Because God that intervention. Eventually, Jesus grows and he dies for us on the cross and he heals the nation. Now, why should a Pentecost youth director go and drag a long story on a Sunday afternoon, I mean, in Easter? When we must get up and quickly run off and go. And when there are appointments that are waiting for us. There are so many reasons. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And one of the reasons is that, you know, when they were doing the worship, I kept looking at our sister. At the back here, as she was raising her voice, bringing the grandma song, then she will be broken. She will kneel down. Eventually she not, I mean, I mean, lean against the wall. And then she will And as I compared it to some of the things that were running in my mind today, I said, God, if this is really the scope of the picture, then what I do for you is so small. I said, God, where do I fit into this plan? My small time in the world. And, and, and this great story of what God is, where do I fit? When you really understand the mind of God, your money is not enough. You put it there and it's like you have not paid enough. Then you want to give all your time. Listen. If you are a man, a businessman in this place, I want to tell you that the agenda of Jesus qualifies to be on your business table. Men are looking for what is purpose enough. But if you understand Jesus and what God is doing, there is no purpose than that. Hallelujah. Amen. It is to wake up to see that indeed you are swallowed up in the love of God and that Jesus came to die just to save you and I from the demonic oppressions of the devil. Sin changes. It multiplies. And when it begins in you it will change the multiplies until you are like a dragon. The devil started as a beautiful creature. Where did he get the seven heads? How did it all come? Wickedness kept growing in him. And today, the devil is still in the same trade. If you read with me, it said the same old serpent, the dragon of old, the devil, Satan, whose mission is to make the whole world drunk 
with his cup of Listen, we will all together in the prayer, we will we'll live the prayer very soon. But yesterday, I was preaching at a convention over there. Obviously, Obviously not as detailed as this, this is a PIWC, right? And, 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 and but I told them of a revelation I had in my first level. station as a pastor. When I was praying at the school one dawn, Holy God, God just opened my eyes. I saw a tree and a very tiny bed sit on the branch of that tree. And then, uh, excuse me to say, there were droppings of the animal all around, I mean, under there. And over all the branches, this was slimy and slippery. I saw many people under the tree. And this slimy was all over their body. Every effort of theirs will slip away. They will fall down and, and they were struggling. The Holy Ghost said, you see, this is what many people find themselves caught in. A life of struggle. Uh, 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 a life of not being able to move on uh, 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 the workings of the devil uh, the bible said bible say, he comes uh, not but to steal uh, uh, to kill uh, uh, and then to destroy uh, 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 but the bible said that the bible say, Jesus came yes, so by say, that we might have life uh, and have it forever uh, 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 oh hallelujah amen now, two more facts. Two more facts, then I'm gone. Can you shoot the text, I think, to verse 10 to 11? 10 to 12. Quickly, after this, I have about one more fact to make. Okay, can you go to verse 9? Verse 9. The great dragon was held down. That ancient serpent called the devil. Or Satan. Satan, no. Who leads the whole world astray? Now, the mission statement on the agenda of the devil is to lead the whole world. And myself and you, we are not exempted. Churches and nations are not exempted. He wants to lead all of us astray against the eternal plan of God. This is the interest of the devil in your life. He would want to carry it out by all means. Especially if you are allow him by not dedic being dedicated to Christ and working with him in your Bible. But listen, the reason why I go here, he was held to the earth. He was held to the earth. Please look at the word earth. He was held to the earth. All right? Yes. And his angels were also brought down. Let's move on, please. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven now say, Now I've come the salvation. What, what is salvation? Uh, as far as I'm, I'm informed as a pastor, salvation doesn't have any place in heaven. But he said, Now I've come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah, his anointed one sent on mission. Now his time and authority has come. What does it mean? To say, No. The plan has worked. The devil is not in the trap. He's been caught. This is because. If we say, the accuser of our brothers and our sisters, blah, 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 blah. who accused them before our father day and night has been held down. Let's go to the next verse. verse. Now, people have said that, and this is the second thing I'm dealing with youth, I want you here. If God cannot deal with the devil, why does he bring him here? If even Osuro Kram went to me and deal with Satan, if, if the heavens couldn't tackle <laughs> Satan, the pastor, 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 then this, why, why would you? this is what I don't understand and about God. Uh, when I mentioned Who you created him? Well, 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 and if it's a trouble, well, try well, to well, wrap him and up. Oh, yeah, when you're, and you're, why? Now what you're saying. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Why do you bring him here? And then he's a worry. Uh -huh, I want yeah, you to know that the whole... Okay, let me go. They tr sorry. Okay, 
And they triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb now, and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives. Even well, so much as to die. Well, not one, Let's one, move one, on. One, one, one. Let's move on, please. Therefore rejoice. Because of the statement that we made. Therefore rejoice. And you dwell in them. But woe to the earth. And to the sea. If you open your eye like I, the way so, I told you to. The coming of the devil is not trouble for me, a child of God. If the devil is held down, my Bible told me that. They say woe to the earth. Am I the earth? And not to the sea. Because the devil has been held down there. Go back to verse 11. Even verse 10, the tail end. This is what the angels are saying. Now I've come to whatever, whatever, whatever. He accuses them day and night. He has been held down. Go to verse 11. I just want you to see. And they. Now who? Now, if the heavens are throwing the devil down here, what about the children of God here? Doesn't mean the devil has been brought here. Because God cannot deal with him. No, God is working out his plan. We are here, the devil has been thrown here. Because the Bible says, as far as we are concerned in heaven, the saint of God triumph over the devil. By the blood of the lamp, and by the the worst of their testimony. The heaven sees us as victorious people. And the coming of the devil is not in control of us. He can come here and possess all the rocks in the world and deal with all the things there. But so far as me, a living child of God, is concerned. The heaven said we have thrown him down. But maybe they will not understand. Let's bring it quickly. And he said, for they triumphed over him by now, the blood of the Lamb. And by their hard call, commitment to now, their faith. Anyway, that Juma, is the word of their testimony. Juma, anyway, Juma, the day uh, that we uh, are uh, ready, uh, we don't even fear yeah, no, that no, they will no. kill us. Yeah, no, no. We know that it's Jesus. Yeah, no, yes, yes, and we love him. Now, yeah, don't know. And he comes before our lives. Now, Those so. hardcore Christians, one the one devil one doesn't one. have victory over them. Or, or time for Am I preaching to some people of God in the house of God? I'm talking about the saints that Osineche you know Osleche in Wachuku, you know her, right? She sings about some saints. And she said that the cry you cry when the saints are gone. Please cry it now when they are here. When she's singing this song, you will see the validation of heaven over her song. That is something about us saints. And we are here with salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. You are the reason why your mother must be saved. You are the reason why your brother must be saved. You are the reason why your company and, and everybody there must have a different company. view about Jesus. Listen. The saints of God are getting fewer and fewer. Many people call themselves saints are afraid of the devil. The in church, but they are consulting demons. They are in church, but they, 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 they are buffing their children with anointing oil. Green, yellow, and black. Afro, brown, they are not even wearing any color. So we are not bringing more colors. Listen, we are not bringing more colors. Listen, Jesus died. Yes, that he will make us victors. I want to tell you by the word of the Lord that the, the heavens do not need any victory that Jesus brought. He is God already. He is Jesus already. The, 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 whatever of the devil doesn't move him. Jesus came to die that he hand the power to us. I said so that you hand the power to us. He came to die and though time didn't allow me, please, just shoot the verse, Colossians chapter 2, verse 10. And then, don't, don't show 14, 15. 10. And in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. And he is the head over every power and authority. 
is telling believers that you are complete in Christ. That Jesus, he is the head of all the powers and authorities. Praise the Lord. And then shoot verse 14 and 15. Verse 14 is trying to tell us that when Jesus died, every sin about us, he canceled it and he condemned it. But look at verse 15. Jesus only didn't die to save us from our sins. No. That is not the only reason. The Bible says that and having disarmed the powers and authorities he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it. When Jesus was on the cross, yes, it was the demonstration of power to me that he would come and wrestle power so and be victorious to me. with the wisdom of God. What does this scripture mean? And, and then it means that Jesus has taken all the power of demons over your life. And I think about the day that there was a contest between the magicians of Pharaoh and the prophet of God, Moses. God just told him, Moses, put down your rod. And on the ground it went. It turned into a snake. And the magicians also put down their rod. They turned to snakes. Hey, what's happening here? Then before we could check, the serpent or the, 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 the snake of Moses Moses wanna, Moses wanna. and began to swallow all yeah, no, no, no. the I'm other minute, snakes. Minute, I wanna, I wanna, I Immediately he finished, the Lord said, hold it by the tail now, and hold it back. Immediately he held it back, it was in his staff of authority. Ah, to me, um. That day, the magicians went home with no staff in hand. Sad, no. One more magic, my, uh, one when one their more wives met them, they said, oh, that did not work. Where in the way? God has swallowed it up. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, this is the meaning of the text, verse 15. Having disarmed the powers, what do you want to me in our year? Having taken their powers off, now what do you want to me, everyone? Someone having robbed them of all their, I now mean, their authority. Now what do you want to me? Jesus put all of them, lined them up. Yes, because I do want you to show up. Principality, you have no power over my people. Demons, you have no power over my people. Satan, you have no power, you have no power over my people. And that is that. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is the meaning. Now, where are you in the And that is that. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is the meaning. Now, where are you in the that the Bible gives us that we triumph over him by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. As far as God is concerned, you're very fearful. Stand in the authority that the Lord has given you and do not let anybody snatch your rod in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to close your eye. I want you to thank God. I want you to give God glory and praise. We want to appreciate him for his love. And I want you to rise up within you. You can be on your feet if you want to. But listen. The word of God to us has been that God's eternal plan has been to save us from the power of the enemy. And he has given us victory. We must walk in that and not fear the devil and not fear demons. It is past. It is past. We must move on in victory. Shall we open our mouth wherever you are? You want to thank God for his word? I don't know what inside you have received, but you are praying to thank God in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we bless you and we thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, that you have to go this extent just to save us, Lord. And to die for us, Lord. Kolomo haya bara saita bara kashana. Shlori ma kabata yanda la sota lema. Lema kozita bara teria. Thank you, O oh God, Lord, that we have won. Thank you that we are victorious in the name of Jesus. Yet your telephone is so. Hallelujah.